Hello my fellow activists, Sorkon here at The Revolution and welcome to, well, Minecraft, but this is TechIt. Yeah, it's the latest version of TechIt, it's available on the Technic Launcher, you can download, uh, I'll put a link, in the, I'll put an annotation on the screen here. And uh, yeah, so welcome to TechIt, this is the latest version for 1.5.2 as you can see down here. Now, um, obviously, the basic basic mod pack for Ticket comes with all of this. It's got a lot of stuff in there. A lot of it I don't really understand just yet, but I'm 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 willing to learn. So um, let's get cracking. So uh, good single player. Uh, oh yeah, that's just a little test world I made where I mess around and spawn stuff in. So we'll just ignore it. So we'll delete that world and we'll get rid of that and we'll create a new world. So what should we call this? Um, oh god, what happened? Oh well, we'll. we'll, we'll well, oh, yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll rename it in a minute. <laughs> uh, I'll come back in a second and we'll rename it once the world's loaded. So here we are, we're in TechIt. So now let's go to options and... Uh, where was it? There was an option to change the world name once upon a time. Um, oh, maybe you got to do it from the menu. Okay, we'll be back in a second, I'm just going to go and rename the world. Okay, so we're here on the rename. Uh, let's call it... Ooh, um revolution industries I think that sounds good okay so I think that we need to sort of set out some goals for this um, for this let's play and I think one of the main goals that we should set is getting into space because included in this version of tech it is Gala galactic craft which is a really cool mod uh, we'll get to that eventually but, uh, but yeah here we are we're back in Minecraft uh, I've got my own personal skin, so I'll just uh, flick through the views, and whoo, there we are, yes. I am a massive fan of uh, Star Trek Enterprise, so I've got the skin of Captain Archer. I've had it on, I've actually, obviously I've uh, edited the head and the hands and sort of put my own flair in it, given him the uh, Geordie LaForge Geordi La visor, which I thought was quite cool. So, um, I'm going to get rid of the GUI. I don't know how to do that. But yeah, so that's my skin. Uh, you'll also notice that my character seems to move a little differently. It's got a couple of more animations. Uh, this is not a mod that comes included with TechKit, it's just one I decided to add, and it's better better player animations, I believe it's called. And I literally just dropped it into the same folder that all the TechKit mods are involved in. And it just basically just allows you to... Um, basically just gives you characters a bit more life to their movements, really. You only really, really get the best effects when you're in this view. But I thought, you know, in case you ever wanted to make any cinematic stuff, if you ever, ever figure out how to get rid of the uh, GUI, then I figured that would be quite interesting. So anyway, yes, we're here in Minecraft. Uh, tech it, obviously. Okay, well, uh, Frap seems to bug seem to bug out on me there for a minute, and I don't know how much time I lost. So, but yeah, so it plays the same as uh, most any other Minecraft. But so obviously, you've got uh, the not enough items here, which is a mod included with Tech it. Now this basically acts the same as too many items. Uh, if, you don't, if you have it in the default mode, you can click on it and drag it in. Um, but, but obviously the best feature about not enough items, if you hover over something, like this redstone engine, this is from Buildcraft, and you press R, it shows you how to craft it. So to craft a redstone engine, we need three wooden planks of any variety of wood, a block of glass, a piston, and two wooden gears. That's another feature of uh, Buildcraft. If we press R on the wooden gears, we make them with four sticks. Now the wooden gears, obviously, they go up in grades, so you make your wooden gears, then obviously you, you put your wooden gear in the middle and surround it by the next level up, which would be, say, I think it's stone after that. Then you put stone gear in, gold, stone, gold gear in, diamonds, and you get that, you know, you work your way up and you eventually get better and better uh, equipment. But, but, uh, but yeah, that's the basics. Now I'm just going to quickly change the options because I have, currently have it in cheat mode. So I'm going to change it to literally just recipe mode. And so obviously now I can't change the date time, I can't spawn things into my inventory. I literally just click it and it gives us the recipe, which is going to be fine for our needs. So here we are. Now we can start like we do with any Minecraft player, and I've already lost a lot of time from uh, explaining things. And we need to start by taking down a tree. Now there is a mod included, it's called Tree Capitator, but it only works if you have an axe. So um, at the moment we don't have an axe. So I'm just going to quickly move that to my hotbar so I can actually count the wood as we go through. Because I hate having it just sitting in the inventory, this boringly in the inventory there. Now, I've not actually tested all the features of the Tree Capitator mod, but the idea is you literally hit the bottom block with nothing but an axe, and, and eventually the tree just falls down. That's the idea, anyway. Um, what I might do is, when I've got, when I've got some wood, I'll quickly make a crafting table, and, and we'll make a uh, we'll make an axe, and we'll just test that mod out, because obviously I've not tried that yet. So there we go. Obviously, you put, stick it in your crafting table. This is the um, the inventory that's used for Galactic Craft. It used to be two separate inventories, but they've just made it into one. 
So obviously that would be your helmet, your oxygen leads, your engine, your oxygen canisters, more for galactic craft maneuver. It does mean that your character doesn't move within the uh, inventory screen. Kind of useful actually, I quite like it. So let's get this one out. Obviously shift click will allow you to collect everything at once and it moves straight down to your hotbar. I'm going to assign that to slot 1 so it's in our hands. So there we go, we've got some wood. Now let's take four of these and in a square there we get a crafting table. So we'll take that crafting table. There we go, and now we'll go back up and we need to, s let's see, we'll split that and then we'll split that again so we've got some wood to actually work with because at the moment obviously we're, s we're limited to wooden tools and that gives us 20 sticks okay that should be more than enough for our needs so let's plonk down this crafting table and we'll go into the crafting table okay so an axe is two sticks and three planks in a formation like so there we are now I'm also quickly going to make a pickaxe so that's three along the top like that there we are um, what else do we need? I could do with a shovel actually. Shovels are always really useful. People don't really like shovels, but I find them extremely useful. It doesn't really matter what grade they are, but they're really useful. So there we go, we have our wooden axe. So let's assign that to slot 1 and change back to the axe. So let's try this tree capitator out. We've got an axe, we've got a tree. Let's give it a go. You see it's taking really long to chop down this one block of wood, but that's because it's breaking all of them. So eventually this block will break and the whole tree will fall down. So it does look like the mod is working. So, chopping, 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 yeah, it, it takes a long time, but again, again, I am using wood. If I had a better grade, like iron, it would be a lot faster. And, yeah, there we go, the whole tree fell down. So, um, I think the biggest downside of tree capitator, oh, no, they do. Oh, right, okay, so it does still drop saplings, so we can replant that, we can be environmentally friendly, which is always nice, and we'll plunk that down there like that to grow. Oh, I picked up an oak sapling as well. Okay, well, uh, well, we'll replace the tree that I took down to get the basic material and put that one there. So we've got this crafting table. Uh, let's pick up the crafting table, first of all. There we are. Now, obviously, the first thing you need to do in Minecraft is build shelter, and I don't have any materials to build a shelter with. So let's use the let's use the tree capitator to our advantage and get, get ourselves some wood, and we'll just make a little shelter for the evening. Um, I don't think I don't think I'll build the actual building we'll be working in and living in in this area. I want to find a bit of a flatter plain area. Uh, but the fact we started in the forest is good. Uh, we've got a snow. Let's have a zoom on the mini map. Let's zoom right the way out. There we are. This is Rise mini map, I believe. And yeah, so if we look around, we have a snow biome either side with a beach. Um, that's not actually pretty. That's not bad. That's not bad. I mean, I've always preferred to start in a plain area just because obviously. Plain areas are better for building your house in because obviously you're on flat ground. Whoa, lots of saplings there and some apples, that's good. Uh, at the moment I'm currently playing it peaceful, but I will put onto the difficulty shortly. Actually, I think I'll do that now because obviously then you can't accuse me of cheating. So we'll put that onto. Yeah, easy. Easy's hard enough. Easy's hard enough. Um, so we'll pick up everything here. Uh, like, yeah, so as you see, you dropped all of the saplings. We've got some apples and everything like that. Um, I think I need to do a bit more research into some of the mods. I'm not 100% sure what every single mod is, but there is an interesting mod in here. It's called Atomic Science, and that allows you to, um, you know, it lets you to do a fusion reactor, and uh, also like uh, I think it's um, I think it's nuclear, but I prefer the fusion reactor. Um, the fusion reactor basically works by sending plasma through a ring, and then you can put water in there, and the water heats up, and it spins turbines, which produce electricity from the fusion reactor. Uh, that that uh, needs deuterium, and um, I believe you get that from. Uh, I think there's, a, there's a chemical extractor machine included with atomic science. You, you basically you funnel water into there with some um, with some glass tubing, and that allows you to uh, make deuterium, and that fuels your fusion reactor. But obviously, these are things I've just experimented with off off screen there. So things that I've had a chance to have a look at. Now, obviously, I'm just going to use the uh, oak wood that we have because obviously, I don't at the right this second. I'm not too keen on having a colour scheme, and we'll just build ourselves a basic shelter before it gets too dark. First day in Minecraft always plays the same. Basically, just uh, survive. I'm going to move that tree. Um, so I'll take that sapling back and I'll move that tree shortly. Um, only needs to be small. It's only for the first night, after all. Don't have enough materials for a bed, but there is a sheep there. Let's grab my axe. Let's go kill the sheep. Ooh, this axe is getting low. Um, let's kill the sheep. Sheep, die, die. Oh, damn it, I killed that sapling. Where's the sheep gone? Die, sheep. Take your fate. Good, sheepy. Right, so we've got one from there. If I could get a bed on the first night, that before the first night... Oh, damn it, my axe broke. Um, yeah, and so if I can get three wool before the end of the first day, I could get a bed, and that's going to save us a lot of time. 
But obviously I don't have a sword. I might, I might once I put like crafting table right down, I think I might have to make one whilst I've still got the materials. But yeah, so I'll get some three wool. I'll get three wool and then I'll be back for you in just a second. Why is this sheep taking so long to kill? Oh god, lag, 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 lag. Stand still, stand still. Down the ground. Up in the air. Down the ground. Okay. Whoa, he's moved, he's moved. Oh my god, it's getting dark, it's getting dark, and I still don't even have. I've only got two wool. Oh god, this is not going well. It's not. Ooh, rubber tree. Okay, well, I think I'm going to leave it there for today, guys. Thanks very much for watching, and uh, I'll have another episode for you soon. Bye.